They're just coming from Latin America to be liberated. Speaking of liberation movements from Latin America, there's a clip going around right now of Ibram Kendi. He's sort of the Mac daddy of anti-racism, this, this new ideology that's very influenced by critical race theory and other radical leftist movements from the 20th century. So Kendi was speaking at a church. I put that in quotes. I'm not sure the exact nature of this church. It doesn't sound very Christian to me. And Kendi exp- explained the religious underpinnings of his ideology. Liberation theology. In other words, Jesus was a revolutionary. <laughs> And the job of the Christian is to revolutionize society. That the job of the Christian is to liberate society from the powers on on earth that are oppressing humanity. Everybody understand that? So that's liberation theology in a nutshell. Savior theology is a different type of theology. The job of the Christian is to go out and save these individuals who are behaviorally deficient. In other words, we're to bring them into the church, these individuals who are doing all of these evil, sinful things, and heal them and save them. (laughs) And then once we've saved them, we've done our jobs. And and to me, anti-racists fundamentally reject savior theology. This is a very telling clip. This is a very important clip for understanding the anti-racist movement. So from the beginning, you can tell that Ibram Kendi, though he seems to be talking about Christianity, is not. You can tell this from the very first sentence when Ibram Kendi says, Jesus was a revolutionary. As a general rule, if someone is referring to Jesus exclusively in the past tense, there's a very good chance you're not dealing with a Christian. Because Christians believe that Christ was crucified, he died, and rose again from the dead, and lives. My Redeemer lives. This is something we say very often. This is central to our understanding of the world. If you do not, I mean, Christ himself says this, before Abraham was, I am, that he is essent, the, the being himself, right? I am. I am that I am is what God says his name is when he's speaking to Moses. So from the very beginning, we can see Ibram Kendi, whatever he's talking about, it's not really Christianity, but this difference between liberation and savior theology in his words, this is the difference between Christianity and this radical sort of leftism. Ibram Kendi, who is presently the head honcho of anti-racism, the capo di tutti capi of race hustlers, Ibram Kendi is, uh, has this viral video that was going around of him speaking in some sort of church or some sort of building and congregation that referred to itself as a church about liberation theology. And he says, liberation theology holds that the purpose of Christianity and of the Christian in the world is to liberate everybody from the bonds of oppression and tradition and whatever else. He says this contrasts with savior theology, which holds that the, the role of the Christian in the world is to go evangelize and spread the gospel and br- bring people into the body of Christ. So what Ibram Kendi is derisively referring to as savior theology is also just known as Christianity. That Christianity, which is the point, is to spread the good news just as the apostles did, just as uh, the disciples of Jesus did. Go out and spread the good news of the gospel, bring people into the body of Christ and save them. Ibram Kendi says this is very bad. We cannot go out and save people. If you go out there and you say people are doing bad things and they need to stop doing bad things and start doing good things and, and accept Jesus and, and come into the church, that's very bad. That's oppressive. That, that reeks of white supremacy or, or whatever. So we can't have any of that. Instead, we need to liberate people. And the, the key here is this word liberation. Because to my mind, to my mind as a, as a Catholic, as a Christian, in the broadest sense. The two are the same thing. The two are the same thing. When you come to faith, when you accept Jesus, when you accept theological religious truth, you are freed. You are freed from the bonds of sin. And what does it mean to be freed of the bonds of sin? Well, you see it in the gospels. Jesus says the man who sins is a slave to sin. Take the religious stuff away for a moment. Just focus on this very 
practical, tangible way. We all know that when we sin, when we pick up bad habits, we become slaves to those sins. We call this addiction. When you do too many drugs, all of a sudden you can't control whether or not you do the drugs. Your, your lower will runs away with you. Your appetite runs away with you. You can't do it. And this is true even with food. If you, if you overeat, you can't put down that cupcake. You can't say no. You don't have self-control. The point of liberal education, which we mention on the show a lot, is to make sense of your freedom, tamp down those base appetites, cultivate the higher rational will, which mediates between the appetite and the divine will. Okay, that's the, that's the two-second summary of what we mean by this. What Ibram Kendi believes is that true liberation is being able to do whatever you want. I think it even goes further. True liberation is the freedom to commit vice and sin and to pursue your appetites. And that is slavery. That is, that is a Christianity without, a, without Christ. That is Christianity without God. Because you, you can do it all yourself. As long as, as, long as we, the, liber, the liberators, come in and we free you from the bonds of tradition, as long as the anti-racists go in and free you from the bonds of whatever oppressive social structures there are, then you can be free to do whatever you want. And you don't need God, and you don't need Christ, and you don't need grace, and you don't need religion. It is a, a, a God without wrath leading a people without sin into a kingdom without judgment through the ministrations of a Christ without a cross so that you can do you and do whatever you want. It's the opposite of Christianity, but it, it adopts the language of Christianity. 